हेलो हेलो सुमन हेलो हम सब हेलो हाँ या सो वी कैन स्टार्ट राइट यस सो टुडे स्टॉपिक इज वी हैव टू इंस्टॉल टाइप स्क्रिप्ट इन आवर एप्लीकेशन बिकॉज अंटिल व्हाट एवर वी हैव लर्न दैट इज ओनली ऑफ फॉर द जावा स्क्रिप्ट एंड जेएसएक्स एंड जेएस फाइल राइट so it is also required to install and understand the typescript so what is the typescript why it is required so typescript basically used for checking the type of data type you can say that it's converted into the plain javascript code typescript but if you want to make see sure your type should be checking with that uh code so we have to use the type script so there is many differences with the type script and the javascript so type script code it's required some compiler right so whenever we have used the type script in our project that should be converted into the javascript because in our process javascript only rendered in the browser so installation must be sure of the type script because this will check the type data type if you have used function data type it will natively check and then it will be converted into the type script to the javascript so it's more important to understand that type script how to install and we can integrate the type script in our system so that today's agenda is that installation in type script in our project and do some hands on and that basic scripting that practice and this all okay so Am I sharing? Uh, I'm sharing my screen. My screen is visible, right? Hello, Shuman. Yes yes, 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 yes. Okay. So do one thing. That area, okay. First, one brand new comment that is you all uh, know this, and um, that is your npm install. It react app. Okay, and then create React app. To React text script. This is my text script folder. It will take some time, and after that we have to install the TypeScript because uh, the extension is TSX. So previously you were using in the JS and JSX file. Now whatever the code we have to write that is inside the TSX file. The previous code materials I have uploaded. Have you got that? All. Hello. Uh, yes, I got. Okay, okay. So in that uh, folder, I think day seven or eight, it might be that I have uh, uploaded that 
API calling that whatever I so yeah, yes so you got right yes but uh, if you have yes. any questions mm, not now mm, we'll ask if we have okay okay you can ask me in in that after this day demo and the installation part all the things right okay Until installation, you can ask me the questions. So it takes some time if you have this question. So in that folder, yes, the attached script is going to be installed and it will check the dependencies, all the things. How check? Yes. Uh, by default, it triggers uh, the Git repository. Can I can you repeat? I cannot understand. Yeah, just a minute. Uh, by by default, uh, in React project, uh, by default, it initiates the Git repository. No, Git repository you have to add. That that is showing the placeholder, right? Initialize okay, okay. git repository dot git folder there initialize, but you have to configure this thing. When you upload the code base in the gate, that time you have to configure this thing. Okay. Okay, but React never pass, React never gives opportunity directly to I mean uh, uh initiate the git repository. You can show this. This is the git repository, the initial means one dot git folder you have to create now inside the react folder so that is that initialization has been done okay okay okay, okay. then you have to configure git uh, remote um, that git clone then you have to fetch the data all the necessary requirement or that updation you have to done from your side okay then it will be added by default on dot git folder they have been created that is the okay. initialization file okay dot okay, okay. you can see that it's some de deactive means some fade fade out right so that's yes, the hidden folder 
okay my hidden folder is laying layer is on that so it's showing so it's a okay. hidden okay okay okay, okay. So it, by default is installed okay 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 now uh, i am inside the react script so okay This is as usual normal React uh, project. Now we have to add some new comments for adding inside that code space, or you can see that CMD. So that is, um, you can say, in PM install. You see in that package.json file, there is no TypeScript or anything dependencies are not there. It's a normal JSX and JS file. Right. Now you have to configure this thing. I have to write uh, a minute. Yes. NPM install save types. Create a top types, a top types, react, a top types, react, Boom. and also checking that. Guest in guest uh, type scripting. Uh, that is so types just at the time I have to install three three or more the types node, types react and types react and just okay almost. Here I have to do that. I script. Types. No. Set of types. React. React of types. React Tom. Set of types. Yes. That you have to add. In the React type script. So you can see the all the dependencies that are added. You can go and this is the dependencies. Now I do one thing. If I will first run this. Yes, yes. Then run start. Will happen if I will change it to that ESX. An index dot TSX. This to file right. Thank you. 
index of tss no gs is not there right so i have to add one more file that is tsconfig.json file you have to add that config.json could not be in it should be a root not in the SRC. Yes, and I will add the content. This is the configuration of PS config. Yep. And although I have added the TypeScript, so I have to write that type HTML element. Logo not required, one more minute. Maybe inside that folder name. That I think yes, that should be here. Yes. Yes. It takes some time, so loading that project in the browser. this is our typescript project right so i am not adding any js js or jsx index so they're in the typescript so now we have to add something here to understand that typescript is working or not or any I'll remove this thing okay some basic types i will write so, will do in the class app extend yeah. or component react that should not be there and render Take some basic types. Basic types will take net value. Like string.
I'll give I'll give this uh, data type first, right? Type of hello. So hello is a string, right? So if I will add any, so if you will add any in the data type, and you can pass. Any. But I am not recommended this thing. Any, you have to pass proper data type, like in string. If I going to add the number, so it will show me the error. So what it tell the type number is not assignable to type string. It should be string, right? Same thing in the number also i just you know this thing one if i'll take one boolean value let hello Boolean. If I want to pass string, obviously it does not allow string not type the boolean. We have to pass the proper data type. Next, if I have some number array, right? like this thing we have to pass number and here i can pass that okay. if this is the number in it then i have to pass the number if i am going to add this thing with error so only pass the number in that array from basic string that if you have array okay let me open it down. and you have string to pass this thing that is some basic data type also one more thing is like uh, if i want to pass in that <coughs> array number and string so how can I do that? Like it's called tuple Python. But here you can also pass this thing string. And you pass hello and comma two number. And if I will add a few, or one more thing that is enum. With the enum, I will take codes 
us value is equal to one. Second value is equal to two. Or if we are going to take one thing uh, that is your function, right? The enum and also some function like const file pass number. Return something, return the number. If I will add. It will pass the return one. So, in the if your data uh, means in the function, if you pass that data uh, return that is string, so we have to pass the string in the data type. On that basis of data type, that type you have to add. So this is the basic some uh, data types that you have to add. And what is inside the ts config? So you can see that. In the compiler option, right? If I will not add this file, tsconfig.json file to so jsx and tsx, whatever I have write the tsx code, that will not be rendered in the TypeScript to the JavaScript compiler. So some configuration like target ES6 module, we prefer ES6 and allow js2. You can also allow js if I will false, so it will not work. So uh, that strict mode, it will check the TypeScript strict. Uh, with strict mode true so module yes no so this is the parameters we have to add so after installation we have to add ts config.json file and it that should be in the root inside that project right in the root root place that we have to add and here if you add tsx instead of jsx and some type script and type we have to consider the next one example i will and to show that is one prop i will pass from that application and that should be on type script verified and it should be rendered in the other component now one thing is there right I'll create one component that is message dot tsx. Simple const 
That's it. Are you done? Simple thing export default message. Go to react. And you have to input this thing in your app. I'll do, I'll pass this thing. So if I want to change this one. Only message dot the okay, I'm not right in the message for message component is added. Now it's path one of crop one is equal to this is my text. Even you see that uh, we are getting one error because in the TypeScript, first we have to define the props. And here, The past message that value crop one what is your crop one. What is the value string, right? In JavaScript, when we added this thing, we are not adding in the JavaScript, we just simply pass the props. And this value is x. We use that top dot. Multiple props you can pass, like prop two. It should be defined here up to like I'm doing number a string is not assignable to type number it should be also string I want to pass this thing from dot prop
So this is common weight. What I'll do in the react component, we can pass our state. Like to remove this thing. This is the also. I'll create one interface. Interface. So what is interface first I have to know um, so interface receive the functional values so, um, that is coming from the hooks or logic hooks so it will add that data data structure data type right interface and provided the data we can pass so I am added in the prop one props two that will create one interface so this interface it creates the structure of that your data means whatever props you are going to pass it will create the syntax of the, the class and the type and uh, that is not uh, and uh, the typescript when it compile that does not convert the interface to javascript it's only required for type checking what is the type is there so that's why we are going to create one interface here so interface i will use user so what i will do top one and top two i will cut it and pass it and here you can pass that interface it could be the different file also you can add the different file and props so prop dot option now if i will add other props name it will showing error because from that interface that uh, these two props I have added. So if I will dot so you can see prop one and prop dot props prop two that is correct. So this Instead of prop one, props two in the TypeScript, you can create one interface and from that interface you can pass the data, which will also show in the same value. Now, next process that we can use our state and we can pass the state from the interface and that I will pass over here. So, I will create one state
name or anything you can check it this value i will pop here simple text simple text then i have to add the type it So that value will be added only type of so throughout your application the state will change and while add these things. So if if your state will be changed throughout the application, then the type of the state will change as well, right? So by doing this type of installation, this could also help you to provide the state as per the needs. So that's the type state in the read only and added the state. Then I have to pass the state. And it only Google to I will do instead of writing this text, I can pass this dot state dot like name. Koshik, what is the meaning of that read only state colon state equal to name? Which one? Uh, the this one, right? Yeah. So your if your state is there, right? Con state, I create one object. No? We are so, creating this init state for uh, initializing the pros, right? This is the state. In, this is the initial initialize your state, right? Okay. So I will pass the state. You can pass props and state over here, right? You can see that react dot component. We can pass the state. So earlier, what we will write? This uh, state inside the state we have to pass now. This thing we will write, right? So same. I will create different initial state. This thing, right? And, and what is the read only there? So if you are pass the read only state, now means whatever your application will be changed, the data will be changed. So this value will never this like a constant, right? When yeah, this value will be read only. So each value never be changed. When the state will be changed from one component to other, so this will be read only. Okay. That will be prevent to change it. Yes, yes, yes. That will be prevent to change that. Means if you are any problem or any uh, error is occur so that will never be changed so i will add the read only that's why so we can actually use this inside of the props also you can see that this dot state dot name and also we can pass the same value here this dot state 
uh, your state dot like you can take it message okay and but why it uh, need to be twice read only define uh, we define on this it the one line as well no no this is the type okay this only we type. define type yes this is the type i am uh, this type i will pass you can say in the state right i am not passing initial state initial state i will pass as a type state you can see means 11 line is a define uh, and defining and uh, yes. declaring yes. declaring the state okay Okay. You can see if you hover, so this is the read only name and message. Right? Mm -hmm. So this state I will pass here. Okay, and that state value that will accessible from this state. If this state is not I am passing, so it will the data type for that I have added colon. What I will add any or instead of state, right? Mm -hmm. So you can pass any, any anything, but I will create my own type. This type I will pass. Okay. okay this is i will pass this my type over here okay and then you can get the value over here okay. so, so that yes okay, Kaushik, uh, uh, is the read only uh, function uh, like act like a constant in javascript const in that declaring the value right const so same Yes, means this is const we cannot use in the when data type we are installing uh, initialize. Yes. Uh, so that time we have used const, but in the state you have read read only method. Yeah. No, uh, I am asking like uh, the, yes, yes, you are yes, putting yes. in currently in TypeScript, okay? Yes. yes. So uh, build that type, read only uh, act like a constant in JavaScript. Yes, 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 yes. Const method may you cannot change, right? Any value. Okay. Once the value you yes. have passed, this value you cannot modify. Only this value is there, so that is the reason that our this initial state, this is not never be changed, right? We cannot modify okay. from other application means other state will pass or uh, update the state. We cannot pass this, so this is locked. You can say that in the layman term. Okay. 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 And uh, read only is uh, not available in uh, JavaScript, na? No, no, no. You cannot. That's why I uh, uh, installed the TypeScript okay. in that application, na? So you can see that TSX file I have added, not any yes, JSX. Yes. So it's all TSX. So TypeScript, some interface is there. So state, you can read only this method is there. Okay. Okay. Is there any advantage to use the TypeScript? Over Obviously, the uh, advantage, advantage? advantage is that if you are uh, means in the in your web application, right? Different uh, data type is there, right? So that can be number, that can be string. So if you pass one number instead of in string is required, but you can pass the number, it will make error. But if your declaration should be very much when you initialize this thing, so at that point we can fix the error. We cannot pass because we are TypeScript is basically using but checking the type. If the proper data type we cannot pass, it will show error. So that's why that mostly recommended is that in initial means using the typescript in the project jsx you can because jsx may you cannot get any any you cannot get any data type right you can pass yes. anything or any variable so interface may if, if you use the interface so it's you can say in that uh, oops concept major um, what i'll tell and um, that is your uh, in Yes, what? Set get method? No, no, set get method encapsulation type of thing, right? I mean, okay. you are creating the encapsulated this thing, right? If uh, I'll in that you can see user to user method. So data type I will pass a here. Many and many data type we can pass. But instead of that, I will create one interface. So right. interface can we I will create the interface and pass over here, right? So inside that you can pass multiple data types, and if you if you data type is string, and if I am going to change the data type one, so of course in the beginning of the code. Yes, we got it. So that is the advantage. So type skip say recommend hai. So you can inside that interface you can define your props you can pass them into the component so 
recommended is interface okay we'll create and on the per performance basis is performance basis uh, obviously because your uh, on the top of the javascript you are using the ts right so mm -hmm. every data type every compilation it will check you cannot pass anything it will compile in a uh, that will be granularly check all the files and it will so you can see earlier uh, you, this message right file successfully emitted waiting for types check result so okay. issues checking in progress so it will lint like a lint lint process like you, if you are linting your method your project so it will check everything that data type your proper data type you are passed or not you can pass your is using interface or not so issues checking in progress so earlier when i use that javascript that type of message we never expect right it not okay. checked if you can see the no issues found that means if i if anything error is there so it will uh, tell me immediately it will pass it is checked or that will be checked right if i will add here you can see same thing it will we packed but error in this file so you can also see in the line number also right that is the thing the advantage is apka bug fix karne se pehle you can get that uh, what your data or your data type that how may efficiently or effectively i can pass as a prop we cannot get that in the js we are using na these things we never checked right we cannot never check this kind of thing so that is the one is type thing baad mein like a run time error ke roop mein aata hai na yes 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 so uh, that is the main thing so that's the reason so typescript aapko add karna hai project mein if you are using typescript project right so that is thank you mm -hmm. any questions no more okay and one more concept that uh, higher order component that is also important in react so higher order component kya hota hai that is that you can tell is a advanced technique in react for reusing your component logic like so hoc i am not telling is a hook or i am not telling is a concept of any react api but rather than is a technique you have to pass your component as a argument in one component and it will return that other uh, in return that component so a higher order component you can tell it's a function simple function so what the function takes the function takes a component and returns a new component inside that so if, if you are using larger application so hoc very help means all the time we no need to Uh, means if your data is required or if you ex means you will get the data from your library data library and then you will create one common component and pass the other component as a argument and return a new component from the return new component you can pass you can wrap your component so it will render the data that is the main concept of higher order component that small demo i will show you but first i am to show you that uh, inside Uh, the type script how to implement uh, the hoc part in the type script that is also important concept so i will do one thing in the app.tsx I'll create one HOC file. That is your HOC dot TSX. What I'll do? I'll create one. I'll first import. 
react to const this value at the six word cut it. Is it type also you can pass it? Now, what I'll create, I'll create one const. your component is me will create will create on class you see Inside the component, yeah. Component. Help us state. A uh, Kaushik, it's like mess uh, uh, function returning a class. Yes, so I'll create one. Top of the function uh, class, I will create one higher order component, right? Okay, okay. And you can create the other component as the argument and it will return a new component. That is the concept of higher order component. Okay. okay. Uh, this is the function returning a class is not a concept of TypeScript? Yeah, means I cannot understand. Uh, yes, this, is your, I, I, this is my component, right? Yes, so yes. So I have to wrap this inside one function. So that is the main means I will when I will pass the component. This this is my HOC component. Okay. okay. So you can see the wrapped component. Na? No, I'll no, no. Wrap. I'm I'm asking, I'm asking, is this a whoops related uh, yes, concept? Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. This is okay. a whoops related concept. So it is tricks. You cannot you can say it's a it's not any hooks or it's not any React API. Okay. It's a concept that we can pass new uh, one component as an argument. And create other component okay. from there. Return a new component, not other. Return a new component. We can transform whatever logic we have to pass and return a new component. Okay. That is the main motto of that. Okay. okay. First, we'll create one minute. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you. And that is read only where I will go. Will return just an app component. Name help us not name in my case that will be the prop one. Uh, one minute, and that will be the prop one, right? Prop one, and to what I'll pass this dot state dot name. And prop two, it is prop to write prop two, yes, prop two. that will be the prop two. Mm -hmm. 
this dot get dot message. And what will return? Return our A to C. I think yes. And export default message A to C. That has created. And go to the message dot TSX one minute. So to import. Created message dot doc from Example equal to box The message what will do. You see, dot. That is not a dream. And the TSX, what is the message again? It is not the word.
And also in the message, just to make it To understand the console type, or I will explain it. So what I will do, same thing, I have added in the app component, right? So I will create this, means initial state and type was there. So this is the main new thing. I will create one HOC, and that will wrap, and I will create new component. And here I will pass the value. And your message you see you see will will be there right and in the message dot tss what will pass the data the example i props this value you can pass the value and i will create the hoc and pass this example in the message you can create multiple components and pass your example okay i'll create other component ones check it Kaushik, can you please show me app.tsx once? One minute, one minute. I will get other component. Okay. Just check it. One minute. Huh? Okay. Just one. Sample one. Pass. Message one. This one, right? Yes, yes, okay. So at a time, it is taking two components and it is rendering two components as well, right? Message one and message. No, that is up to you. You can take all, all okay. component also, okay. Okay. That is the display means message okay. component is there, right? This is okay. my message component. Na? So message component by earlier, um, uh, what we will do? I will create the props and I will pass the props this way, right? So in okay. that thing, I will create a separate component. You can see HOC. Other component I will create, right? Okay. And on the top of the HOC, I will create that wrapped component. When any name you can is part is the argument this component name okay okay, okay. passes and here I will pass the props now your in if your initial state is inside the component if your value it's come from JSON so any number of value you can pass and multiple components will be created you just pass the value over there okay okay so this value I'll pass and A to C I'll return inside here right in the component and that is message a to c that is the top of the component you can pass multiple component as a wrapper you can see in the message one also i'll pass this message com a this value right that is the thing any questions How another uh, who does uh, somebody has asked some questions uh, regarding the API? Can you please tell me? Okay, then is, is there other questions related to the HOC or these things? No, no Kaushik from my side. Okay. Sumon Pusnita, is there any questions? So I'll... No. Okay. Well, 
close the session, okay? Today, and this file will upload. Okay, I'm not, okay, bye. Oh. bye. Hmm.
ਸਾਰੇ ਵਿੱਚ 